religions the same. Now just take that word religions and replace it with sport or sports. Aren't all sports the same? Now I am a big baseball fan. I love the game of baseball and often I hear people that are not necessarily into sport come to me and say, you know, Nathan, aren't all sports the same? It's, it's an interesting observation because, well, in one sense they say, Nathan, look, you've got a ball in all these games and the objective is to get the ball into the goal or get the ball into the hole and whether you've got to throw the ball or hit the ball with a stick, it's the same thing. All sports are the same. But when you actually talk to athletes, certain athletes who are actually affiliated or involved in these different sports, they, they find that insulting because there actually are differences. Um, take the game of cricket and baseball for a moment here. Now, I am a Canadian. I lived in England for a few years. And I remember when I moved to England, many of my friends here in Canada would say, Nathan, hey, you should definitely get involved in cricket because if you're good at baseball, the same would apply there. You, you'd be an amazing cricket player. But although it's played on a field and there's a ball and people are hitting this ball with a stick, there are big differences. You know, uh, the ball, yes, there's a ball, but the ball in cricket is different to the one that is played in baseball. Yes, there's the man who throws the ball, but even the title there in baseball, it's called pitcher. In cricket, it's called a bowler. There are fundamental differences. Even the game, the game structure, the terms, there are many differences. Now, let's turn to religion here for a moment. One of my colleagues, Oz Guinness, says there are differences and the differences make a difference. In religion, yes, maybe on the surface there are similarities, but fundamentally, when we actually do some digging, there are differences. Let me just take two here for a moment. Christianity and Islam. In Christianity, the belief is held that God is love. He forgives. He relates to us. We have the story of a God who actually sends His Son in you know, God, human flesh, Jesus Christ, in our space and time, first century Palestine, to relate to us. You compare that idea, that fundamental belief in Christianity to Islam, and that is blasphemous. This idea that God would relate to us, that, that is a no-go zone. We do not talk about that in Islam nor do we talk about God forgiving us or God who is love. That is blasphemy. Now, the idea here is not to sort of say, hey, so here we have a comprehensive idea of both Christianity and Islam. No, that's not it. But it is to say that again, there are differences and the differences make a difference.